The Madison County School Board held a special session to review the district's recent report card. Good evening, I'm Connor Board. And I'm Mike Black. The school system earned a B from the State Department of Education. Our Rebecca Petit explains why the superintendent is not putting too much weight on the grade. That's right. The Madison County School Board discussed how the district achieved a grade of a B, but also why that grade isn't the best measure of success. Madison County Schools received a B on the Alabama State Department of Education report card. Though it's the same grade from last academic year, the score of 86 shows a slight improvement. Out on average, our schools improved five and a half points. The grades for high schools are calculated by six different measurements, including graduation rates, absences, and college career readiness, which the district receives a score of 81. And that's really what we're focusing on is making sure our graduates are ready. You know, it's not just the number of graduation rate. For elementary and middle schools, 85% of the grade comes from standardized testing. It doesn't tell the whole story of what goes in schools. And to count 85% of a grade, I think folks just need to realize that's one test on one day. Now that said, our kids did really well on their test, or the grades reflected that, but there's still more going on than just how those kids did on, on that one day. Superintendent Matt Massey says he's proud of the report card, but isn't setting expectations for schools to get an A next year. Because we don't want our kids just focusing on a test. We don't want our teachers teaching all year for one test on one day. We want to teach in their standards, making kids, making it be interactive, working in small groups, getting our kids to advance and, and grow in their reading and in their math. The district scored a low 36 on English language proficiency. It measures the success of English learners. Putting the Valley first, Rebecca Petit, WCDX News.